best we've had so far. Cut face is 12 through 24. If the warp coefficient is within three units of nominal, cut face is 29 through 36, too. Let's take this straight to the tempering phase. Roger. Cutting phase is 12 through 24. Sir, don't you think you're going a little too fast? No. We've done 47 simulated runs. Our hesitance before made Subject 11 useless. Besides, if I don't produce results soon, we'll be hearing from Sector 7. The gates of Sheol are opening. Do you really think it'll show? That's why all of this, all of us, are here, isn't it? We can hardly get cold feet now. If this works, the power at our fingertips will far outstrip any other. The library will not be at liberty to order us around. Well, that's the higher-ups speaking, not me. To be honest, as a scientist, I just want to see what's on the other side of that gate. We all do, sir. It's hard to believe how far we've come. Now entering phase 42. Releasing barrier section A. Sink rate adjusted to 0.001. Seether exposure levels are at 75,000. Begin tempering. Now show us the universal truth, the power of the Azure. This is... Time-space is frozen, a cocoon of time! What's wrong? Tempering is proceeding as planned. The cauldron appears normal. Extremely high Seether concentration detected. Directly above this facility. 6,000, 8,000, 12,000. What? The library? Impossible. Not even the library could concentrate this much Seether in one place. There's no way. I want the point of concentration. Now! Concentration to exceed 100,000! After coming this far, abort the experiment! Cut all power! Roger, cutting all power! Sir, we can't cut the power! What? What the hell is Sector 7 doing? Get them online! What the hell are they doing at a time like this? Sir, it's directly above Ikaruga! Altitude 36,000 feet! Impossible! It's going into orbit?!
Dr. Fei Ling! Dr. Fei Ling! What is it, Linhua? Is the next patient here? Jeez, Doc. That person was your last patient, you know. Something the matter? You seem out of it. My assistant Linhua looks worried. I give a bitter smile. I was just thinking about how long it's been since I've come here to Kagutsuchi. I think it's actually been a while, but now that you mentioned it, you came to this town because you were looking for something, right? I take it you haven't found it yet. Yeah. It's proving to be a lot harder than I expected. You look a little glum, Doc. R really? I guess I am a little worn out. Are you gonna go down again today? By down, she means the lower layers of Kagetsuchi. Hmm. Maybe I'll try going up for a change. By which, of course, I mean the layers above Orient Town, where the Librarium officials and other nobles live. It looks quite different, you almost wouldn't know it's the same city. Up? That's pretty rare. Something's been bothering me lately. Some NOL soldiers came to Orient Town today to put up new wanted posters. Ragnar the Blood Edge. Apparently, he's been going around destroying Librarium branches, and now he's come here, to the 13th hierarchical city of Kagetsuchi. From what I've heard, Ragnar's grimoire has unprecedented power. I'm sure that you wouldn't like to have it. But above? I can't really stand those guys. Everyone up on the higher layers treats the underground people like trash. I can do without those arrogant jerks. That's true. I can't say that I agree with what they do. Well, if you're going out, Doc, be careful. I hear there are officials from the library still running around. Yeah, I'll be careful. If anything happens while I'm out, can you call Dr. Han over? Ugh, that quack? I don't like him either. He looks so perverted, too. It's not good to judge a book by its cover. That's exactly what the upper layer people do, you know? Yes, I know. Good answer. Now be good while I'm away. I wait to Lin and step out of the clinic. As I look around, I can't suppress a small bitter smile. They sure posted a lot on our wall too, didn't they? The wanted posters cover every wall in sight. Any flat surface has been plastered with his scowling face. I pull one down, fold it up and tuck it away. If Ragna came from out of town, someone at the port probably saw him. In a world covered in clouds of Caesar, people must use airships to travel from one city to another. This is how it's been since the war. However, there's, unusual, there's usually aren't as many ships. I doubt a trip to the harbor would be a wasted one. Let's go, Lao Chu. I reach for my panda-like hair clip, and as, I, as if in response to my signal, it repositioned itself, moving my hair to the side. Let's do our best. Even if someone told me this is wrong, I, even if I had to sacrifice a part of my humanity, I can't go back. Until we find him. I'm at the port now, but I wonder if anyone really has seen Ragna. I'll need to do a little investigating. <laughs> 